Good afternoon. Um, this week's episode, we're going to try and just shed a little bit more light on the whole process of visas and requirements and procedures. And with me, I've got Elise. We um, both at BMW Motorbikes and we went on a trip with BMW and we um, just met on the trip and we became friends and since then we are just stuck together. Okay, Elise by trade or by profession, not a trade, I think sometimes it is a trade, is a travel agent so she is well knowledge in the application of visas and where it is applicable and where not. So we're going to be bombarding her with questions. Um, first question, do we really need a visa to travel or to circumnavigate? Do we really need a visa? Yes, yes we need visas. Um, first of all you have to do homework to see which countries. There's a lot of, now from South African perspective, there's a lot of countries that we do not need visas. Uh, more than you might think, but we don't need visas for a lot of countries. But before you leave, just do your homework, see if you need visas. Some visas might be for 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. It all depends on the application and the embassy. But yeah, we need visas. Another big question is, um, do we need to plan ahead to apply for a visa or do we need to plan ahead with our trips? What would you recommend? Yeah. Definitely. I think the major thing is, is in the planning. Um, first of all, to uh, ensure you've got the right visas, you've got the medical um, insurance for the trips, and um, I think it is, it's the major thing. Um, also, you yeah, need to plan for, for backup, um, backup countries, sp uh, specifically for, for Pietra and Frick that's going on, on a catamaran in the international waters. Now that leads me to another question. Um, we've planned our route and we more or less know where we're going to, but what if we hit a storm and it sends us completely in the opposite direction, route or whatever, and you land up with an unplanned port or country? Um, yeah, in emergencies, you'll definitely have those. Um, the thing is, just make sure the country that is that you are approaching now, you know, that you might not have a visa for. Just make sure there's no political issues, nothing. And then when you get to the country, the first thing you need to do is to make contact with the embassy of that country and they will give you guidance. Every country's got a different way how they will handle your emergency. Great. Okay. Basic preparations. How do we prepare? For a visa, what do we do, need to do? Okay, visa applications worldwide works more or less on the same same basis. First of all, you need to get your documents ready, the application form, the photos, um, you know, your bank statements, medical insurance, which is really imperative for this trip. And then, um, is it is it compulsory the medical? Yes, yes, definitely compulsory. And then you will have to um, set an appointment, be on time. If you miss your appointment, I'm sorry, you will have to reschedule a new appointment again, and that might be another week or two. And that so, is sorry, that's with the with the um, embassy. Yes, that's with the, the country intended country's embassy. Yes, okay. yes. Then and just uh, you know. Be on time, do the application, and then obviously a week later, some countries will clear it to you, and some countries will ask you to come and collect your visa. And how long does this whole exercise take? Normally, well, speaking from a South African perspective, again, currently we experience backlogs with certain countries regarding visas. Um, 
some of them you might apply for a month in advance, but the normal, uh, you know, the norm. Yeah, yeah, will will be about seven working days. Oh, so that's not a long, lengthy meal. Yeah. Not a very do. long. And, and but the, the whole thing is to to get the the appointment, and that might take two or three weeks. Okay, and then the actual procedure. procedure, as you said, you need to make an appointment, be on mm. time, etc. What do you need to take with you besides the photos? As you said, bank statements mm -hmm. and your, your um, visa yes. application form, um, the original, uh, and then a letter of, of um, from your, your employer, you know, um, and that you intend to resume your duties afterwards. And what about previous visas for that country that you might have had before? Yeah, that will make it easier. That will make your whole application easier. Visas will only, um, you know, be for a certain uh, period of time. So now we've applied, we've gone through the whole drama, we've made an appointment, we've gone through the interviews and everything, and we've got our visas. What about if we want to go in and out of the country the whole time. Okay, um, that should not be a problem. They've, so for instance, you've got a multiple entry visa and the visa is valid for 30 days. Then you're going to go into the country, get your entry stamp, stay for your 30 days, leave the country, get your exit stamp. So I can just get on the boat, sail into the blue ocean and come back? Yes, as long as you've got an entry stamp and an exit stamp. So I have to go to the port. So I don't have to go stamp. from one country to another and then come back again? No, you can go in and out. Okay, so that, that's multiple entries. That's your multiple entry, yeah. And some countries will, you know, you can get a, a multiple entry for up to five years, which you know, you can use. Which I think would pretty much be, obviously be the better route to go for no, us. Because, yes. I mean, time is really on our side. <laughs> it takes a long time to cross the country. <laughs> it's not flying in and flying out. Now, big question is, well, what happens if I lose my passport? Okay, um, with the visa inside, or obviously yeah. inside it. What happens? I think the major thing is to make copies before you leave your country, to make copies of all your documents, visas, passport. So should you lose the passport, then you've got the copies. Uh, first of all, you have to report it to the police station. The lost or stolen. Yeah. In, the in the country that you are. Yeah. In the country that you are, you, you report it. From there, you will have to go with the case number and the documents. They will give you specific documents for the lost passport. From there, you will have to go to the um, your local embassy, like the South African embassy. They will then assist you with emergency documents based on what you... Emergency you've got travel your, documents. Yeah, emergency okay. travel documents. And then it's, it's you know, basically like a passport, but it's only a piece of paper that they will issue with, and then that will be your travel document. It will, it will take some time because they need to confirm and verify with South Africa Everything. that you are a South African citizen mm -hmm. and that you are actually your residential address that is in South Africa. Sense, yes. yeah. Is there one site that a person can go to where you can get all this information on and this is how you do it and what type of questions to expect and all that? Is there a specific generic site for it? Um, uh, no, no uh, Peter, I think that the best will be and the safest way to get your application correct from the start will be to contact the country that you intend to visit, to contact the embassy and they will give you the requirements for your visa, they will tell you exactly how long it takes, and some of them use like an agent. And oh. they will also, on the website, state which agent you will have to use for that specific country's visa. Right, so there's a lot of, you can, um, I know I'm busy with my USA visa application, so there's an online option where you actually do all the paperwork, yeah. you do the EFTs, whatever, and then you set up the appointment. So uh, most countries have that facility to yes. do an online application. They are, they are changing, more and more countries are changing now to your um, online option. And obviously our regional countries, they, most of them is just, you know, a stamp on arrival and we need a port as well, 
that they you know, also you you have to have your documents with you. All your all your travel documents. All your travel documents to show. Some some countries also don't request um, or you don't need a visa for some countries, but they will ask you when you enter the country, they want to see your medical, they want to see you where you're going to stay, your bank statement. So it's always safe to have them with you. Awesome. Thank you. I think that was pretty informative. Thank you, Elise. You're welcome. And hopefully we won't have to phone in the middle of the ocean to come and bail us out again. The um, people are welcome to go onto my blogs. We've got blogs um, on www.alcotravel.co.za I'll post it below. Or um, our Facebook page. We have, and on the, on the blogs we've actually got a, a blog which countries you will need visas as a South African citizen and which countries you won't need a visa. I told you she's jacked up. We'll <laughs> see you next week. Bye. Bye.